everyone, my name is Sushmita and I am an advisor at Unirali. In our previous video, we talked about the methodology to shortlist universities when applying to the US. In this session, we are going to talk about the application portals through which you can apply to universities in the US. US universities accept applications on various platforms. These platforms can be broadly divided into two categories. Number one, common application portals and number two, university specific application portals. Common application platforms are single application portals that allow us to submit applications to multiple US universities on a single application. There are three types of common application portals. Number one, the first is literally called the common application, also known as the common app. The second is the coalition application. The third is the universal application. Out of the three, common app is the most preferred platform used by the students around the world. It is also the platform that caters to the maximum number of universities. Those were the common application portals. On the other hand, university-specific application portals are platforms that allow us to submit applications to that particular university only. For example, University of California applications are accepted only by UC schools such as UC Berkeley, UCLA and others. Most universities in the US will accept common applications while some would only accept university-specific applications. There are some universities that accept both. In that case, you can choose to fill either. An example of such an university would be Indiana University. Now that you know the application process, let's dive into the components of the typical application. Be it the common app or a university-specific app, all applications have similar sections and criteria. The first section on any application is your personal information section. This section asks detailed questions about you, your family, academics, finances, and your career goals. The next section is the essay section. In this section, you are asked to write essays. The number of essays required varies from university to university. The questions range from, why would you like to join a particular university to, tell me something about yourself. There are some universities that don't require any essays. You can find a detailed list of these universities online. After this, there is the activity section. This section would require you to list and describe the activities that you have participated in during your four years of high school. Some universities even allow you to upload resumes. After this is the university specific application section. This section would ask you detailed questions on why would you like to study at that particular university. Questions are related to academics such as the course and the specific college you would like to study at. So make sure you research your university well. After this is the recommendation section. This section would ask you to submit recommendations from your teachers, academic counselors, family and even employers. Every university has its own requirements. The last section is the payment section. This is the section where you make the payment and submit the application. Some universities even have fee waivers. You can email the university and see if you qualify for a fee waiver. Some universities have no application fee and you can find a list of these universities online. We know this is a lot of stuff to remember, but don't worry. We will be talking about all the above sections in greater detail in the upcoming videos. We hope that you found this video helpful. In the next video, we will be talking about how to write a good college essay. So please like, share and subscribe. If you happen to have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to know more about how to apply abroad, log on to www.unirali.com. Our counselors on the website will give you everything you need to go ahead. See you next time.